Welcome to Falling Facts, a channel that will tell history, uncover stories of the past, and uncover phenomena. Everything will be presented in a picture story. This time, I'll talk about a ridiculous battle fought by the American military. They created a new history, the worst history in American military history. Operation Cottage and the Battle of Kiska Operation Cottage was a tactical maneuver that brought the Aleutian Islands campaign to a close. On August 15, 1943, Allied soldiers landed on Kiska Island, which had been under Japanese occupation since June 1942. The Japanese, on the other hand, had discreetly abandoned the island two weeks before, leaving the Allied invasion undisturbed. Allied soldiers sustained around 313 casualties as a result of stray Japanese landmines and booby traps friendly fire incidents, and vehicle accidents during the operation. The Japanese, led by Captain Chik Chiono, landed on Kiska around 1 o'clock on June 6, 1942, with a force of roughly 500 Japanese Marines. Soon after their arrival, they raided an American meteorological station, killing two and kidnapping eight U.S. Navy officials. The captured officers were taken to Japan as pals. Another 2,000 Japanese forces descended on Kiska Harbor. Rear Admiral Manzo Akiyama led the army on Kiska at the time. Additional anti-aircraft battalions, engineers, and a small number of reinforcement soldiers arrived on the island in December 1942. Control was handed over to Kichiro Higuchi in the spring of 1943. Plan and execution of an invasion. Kiska was invaded by the Allies on August 17, 1943. Following the high casualties on all the island, planners anticipated another costly operation. However, Japanese military strategists concluded the isolated island was no longer defendable and plotted an evacuation. Beginning in late July, there were growing indications of Japanese retreat. Aerial photograph analysts found that normal activity appeared to have decreased significantly, with almost no movement identified in the harbor. Bomb damage looked to be unrepaired and air crews reported significantly reduced anti-aircraft fire. Kiska's radio broadcasts were completely cut off on July 28. On August 15, 1943, the U.S. 7th Infantry Division, the 10th Mountain Division's 87th Mountain Infantry Regiment, and the 6th Canadian Infantry Division's 13th Canadian Infantry Brigade landed on opposing sides of Kiska. The invasion also saw the 1st Special Service Force, an elite special forces organization comprised of American and Canadian commandos, make its first combat deployment. Both U.S. and Canadian forces confused each other after a Canadian soldier shot at U.S. lines thinking they were Japanese, resulting in an intermittent friendly fire event that killed 28 Americans and 4 Canadians and injured 50 on both sides. Mines, timed explosives, unintentional ammo detonations, vehicle accidents, and booby traps further slowed progress. The errant Japanese mine also resulted in the USS Admiral DD-526, losing a big portion of its stern. The explosion killed 71 people and injured 47 others. So this video is about Operation Cottage. If you like content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.